Hi folks and welcome back here for an After Effects tutorial. Today I like to talk about how to create uh, some kind of a light stroke effect with built-in plugins. So uh, let's get started. So just create a new composition in any size and length you want and create a new solid. Make it black, make it com size and call it stroke. Stroke one, and uh, grab the pen tool, and start to draw a path. Uh, maybe like this. Why not? It's not too bad. Maybe like so. Uh, I don't know. Whatever, not so important. Um, okay, so now go to the effects, go to generate and select the Vegas effect. So tell the Vegas effect to use the mask and deselect this. Okay, so now you see what the Vegas effect is doing. It's creating some kind of a uh, of a some kind of a line with lights just around your path and uh, we're going to um, decrease the segments to one make it a little bit shorter like 0.5 is good I think make it a little bit thicker set the blend mount to transparent and make it uh, white so you have something like this it's transparent and um, just, you can um, set any of these vertex, vertexes to be the starting point. So just select it, go to mask uh, and shape path and set first vertex. So now our uh, Vegas effect is starting at this point here. And to make the animation we're just going to set a keyframe in our rotation. Go to the end of the composition and type minus one. Like so. And now you should have something like this. Okay, cool. So now we're going to colorize our stroke a little bit by using the glow effect. Select the uh select the solid. Go to stylize glow, change the glow colors to something reddish, orange like colors or whatever. Bring down the glow threshold, maybe like so. Intensity, why not? Just play around with the settings. No, it's not lo looking too bad. Okay, so this is the first first stroke, and we're going to create a duplicate by uh, Command D. So this is stroke two. You can change all the colors here to make to organize it. So select the second stroke. Go to the glow settings. Change the colors maybe blue something like this well and go to the Vegas effect and shorten it like something like 0.25 is good so you have something like this okay so to make it look to make it look a little bit more interesting we're going to add a new adjustment layer and we're going to add a distortion effect to it. Distort turbulent displays. So by default you can see what's doing. It's going to distort our pixels a little bit. And we're going to play around with it. With the settings you can create some really nice looking effects. Okay, well, that's not too bad. 
but the displacement is kind of static so and we're going to change this and we're going to uh, keyframe keyframe animate the evolution so uh, click the stopwatch go to the end of the composition and make it set it to 1 like so so now you have something like this you can see it's not looping the distortion is it's not looping but you can change this of course go to evolution options here and select evolution uh, cycle evolution just one revolution is okay and render render it preview so now you see you have a nice looping animation the next step is just to go to your project window make a duplicate of your composition go to the second composition and change the settings of your displacement effect a little just a little bit something like so maybe change the um, starting point of your evolution by just adding 90 degrees to both keyframes so it should be still a loop okay yeah cool it's, I think it's still a loop can't see any mistakes right cool okay so let's make a new duplicate go to the third composition um, play around with the settings here of course again maybe like so hmm. Um, change the evolution evolution starting point again something like minus 90 minus 90 and oh no, no that's not good and why not oh, let's see if it's still looping yeah okay cool this is our third loop so now make a new composition with the same size of course and drag in our our stroke compositions set them to add and run a preview so yeah right folks that's it there is nothing more I can tell you about it I hope it's useful you have a you've created some stroke strokes now it's still on the transparent background so you can compose it with other other uh, elements have fun with it see you soon bye bye